Uh, since I was a kid, uh, I started shooting air rifles. Uh, when I was about 22, 23, I started making my own air rifles. For my own purpose, you know, it was only for me. But quite quickly I realized uh, this could be fun for the future. So I was starting making air rifles more seriously after a while and, uh, and try to get them in production. And the rest is history. A is the power. Uh, they are not too powerful. They are not too, uh, you know, noisy. They are a little bit trickier to make a uh, center fire and things like that. In my way of looking at it, much easier. And the PCP rifle is a little bit more complicated, and uh, because of that, we I find them more, them more interesting, and I like to shoot. You know, I, in the bottom, I'm an air gun person uh, more than anything else. So. Uh, and um, I always love the rifle I haven't made. Oh, we have more experience today. That's what it is. You're starting somewhere um, and you're learning through the process. I mean, through the years, more and more things and uh, you get more efficient and uh, yeah, more experience today. So. Yeah, the difference between FX Arrogance and, uh, and our competitor is uh, I think we have more technology in our rifles. We're always working really hard to get new ideas and we're never trying to copy any other maker's ideas. We just try to go our own way in making air guns. We're always trying to make them unique. And that's been our philosophy from day number one when I was making air guns. I actually living in my own bubble. I hate to see other uh, makers' guns inside. I can look at them outside, but I don't want to be influenced. I have, having any influence from them regarding what they're doing inside. So. Yeah, the smooth twist uh, was started in 2005. We had some issues with barrels. I was just wake up in the morning, I have an idea. We're going to make our own barrels. We were starting with the idea where we had the smooth bore and just rifling in the end. We did a lot of testing and testing and testing and testing. And in uh, 2007, I actually showed Ben Taylor my project. And uh, he came up with the idea we should do it from the outside which was working perfect. They are fantastic barrels. What's good with us or me when I design a thing is uh, I see the gun in my head before we put it on paper or in the computer. And then I just try to uh, do exactly what I have in my head on the computer. It's hard to explain, it, you know, uh, just having ideas I want to do and I, I just do it. Yeah, hello, we're going to make a pellet tray for all FX rifles with a Royale block. Take the measurements of the block so we know it will fit. Now let's do the pellet hole. Make some nice edges. Angle on the pellet tray as well. So there we go, that's a pellet tray. American market is really important. I made up my mind 2009, I think it was. Uh, my focus is going to be on America. That gave me a lot of freedom. If you make something for England, example, is 12 foot pounds. And they are very traditional in the look. It should always be wood and that kind of look. 
Uh, so America gave me a lot of freedom to just do whatever I like. And it's a very important market for us today. It's really, really important. And I think it's going to be there for a long, long time. And we have a good relationship with our importer there. I had that for a long, long time as well. Oh yeah, there is more things to do. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, you always want to do the perfect gangs. And uh, we have a lot of things going on here. They're, they're going to be some really interesting products from us. I can't tell you what, what we have in, the, in our pipeline though, but uh, I'm very excited. Really nice stuff. It is going to be terrible, I promise you that. If you can use 30 seconds of that, good luck.